Hey guys, Merritt from thermal-medics.com. Doing a quick video here on this air handler I still got opened up. Um, one thing I've referred to a lot of people is um, is this fuse right here. When you've got low voltage wiring going on um, up in this air handler, and again, I've got power pulled at the unit, so this is de-energized. Um, so you're wiring a thermostat, so you've got uh, a, a surge from a thunderstorm that's passed through. Um, maybe you've got some wires together you shouldn't have, but you've popped this fuse. You might think, oh my gosh, nothing's working. So what you do is you come out, you look around, you should find a fuse. In this case, I've got a little three amp knife fuse that's been wired into the unit. Um, and look for that to be popped. You can replace that fuse, not a big deal. You're back in business. It's the fuse is doing its job. It's basically tr uh, blowing that fuse before it gets into something more expensive like the um, uh, transformer, which is sitting right back in there behind that little maze of wire. So. When I'm referring to the fuse and the air handler, that's what I'm talking about. It's again, it's 3 amp, 5 amp, something in that neighborhood. Hopefully you can find it, swap it out, and um, that'll help you. Sometimes a way to tell too that you've got an issue with that, just really quick, is that you, you're, you're, um, you're, your thermostat is totally blank. You have no power at all to anything. You go to the fan motor, you go to auto and on, you get nothing. Go to heat cool, you get nothing at all. Everything is dead, no voltage on going to anything. Check that little fuse out. Um, the transformer may have gone bad, or maybe you just got you popped that fuse, and if that's the case, that'll get you back on real quick, and it's a real simple DIY sort of fix. Other than that, take care. Thanks again for all the beers you've been buying me at thermal-medics.com. See ya.